Hello. Uh, in this segment, we're going to talk about multiplying polynomials. So this is a pretty softball question to start out with. All we're trying to do here is multiply 10x squared times 2x plus 5, and we'll just use the distributed property. So that means we're going to take 10x squared times 2x. 10 times 2 is 20. x to the second times x to the first makes x to the third. Then 10x squared times 5 is going to be 50x squared. Simple enough. Um, so that's a monomial and a binomial. Um, next we'll do 2x plus 9 times x minus 3. This is two binomials. And this is where you can use FOIL, which is first outer inner and last, so that kind of helps. Um, the first terms are 2x times x, 2x squared. The outer terms for the O, 2x times minus 3 is minus 6x. The inner terms are 9 times x. And then finally, the last terms, last, 9 times minus 3, minus 27. We're going to add up the like terms, which are minus 6x and plus 9x. So that would be 3x and minus 27. And that's it. Let's try another one. This is a binomial and a trinomial where you have two and three terms. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to multiply everything times everything. We'll start with multiplying x times x squared, x times minus x, and x times minus 6. x times x squared is going to be x cubed. x times minus x is going to be minus x squared. And then finally x times minus 6 will be minus 6x. Then we're going to take the 1 times the x squared, 1 times the minus x, 1 times the minus 6. 1 times x squared will be x squared. 1 times minus x will be minus x. 1 times minus 6 is minus 6. And now we're going to add up the like terms. We've got minus x squared and plus x squared. Those can actually cancel out. The x cube stands alone. These cancel out. Uh, minus 6x and minus 1x, those add up to be minus 7x. And then finally we have minus 6. Now let's do one more. Do uh, x squared minus x minus 3 times x squared plus 4x plus 2. Last time we had 2 times 3, 6 terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we're going to have actually 9 terms because we're going to do all 3 of these terms times all 3 of these terms. And uh, we'll start out by doing uh, x squared times x squared, x squared times 4x, and x squared times 2. So that will give me x squared times x squared is x to the 4th. x squared times 4x is 4x cubed x squared times 2 is 2x squared. Next, I'll do minus x times x squared, minus x times 4x, minus x times 2. So that'll be negative x times x squared is negative x cubed. Negative x times 4x is negative 4x squared. Negative x times 2 is negative 2x. Finally, we'll do negative 3 times x squared, negative 3 times 4x, and negative 3 times 2. So negative 3 times x squared is going to be negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times 4x is minus 12x. Minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. We've got nine terms. You've got to add them all up, the like terms that is. x to the fourth is just there on its own. Uh, We've got 4x cubed and minus 1x cubed, so that's going to add to 3x cubed. 2x squared there, minus 4x squared there, and minus 3x squared there. 2 and minus 4 make minus 2. 
and then add a minus 3 and you get minus 5x squared. Uh, then we've got minus 2x here. And we've got minus 12x there. That's minus 14x. And then the minus 6 stands alone. Just a quick recap. Uh, we did x squared times everything here. Minus x times everything here. Minus 3 times everything here. Wrote all the terms out. Then I added up the like terms. And, and that's it. This is how you multiply any polynomials together. Whether there's 3 and 3. Uh, we, up here we had 2 and 3, or just a FOIL problem with 2 and 2. It all works the same. Just think of it as a distributed property and just do as many terms as you need to do. hope this helps. We'll see you later.